guys, welcome back to Weekly Read Along. I'm Miss Ross and I am so excited to be reading this week's book with you. The Little Old Lady Who Wasn't Afraid of Anything by Linda Williams and illustrated by Megan Lloyd. The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices, nuts and seeds. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly, she stopped right in the middle of the path were two big shoes and the shoes went clomp, clomp. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. On she walked down the path, but behind her she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. A little farther on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants, and the pants went wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked on. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp, and one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Farther still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt and the shirt went, shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and on she walked a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, and one shirt go shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went clap, clap, and the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked, just a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one hat go nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went... This time, the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clump, clump. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. <sighs> she sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and she rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock, knock on the door. Should she answer it? Well, she was not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and opened it. What do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady gravely. What do you want anyway? 
We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us, the pumpkin head said, looking suddenly very unhappy. I have an idea, said the little old lady. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin head nodded and its face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said good night, closed the door and whistled on her way to bed. The next morning she woke up early. So she went to her window and looked out into the garden. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. And scare all the crows away. Thank you so much for joining me for this story. I had so much fun reading it, and some of us are going to enjoy reading it in class together a little later on when it's nice and scary this month. So I'll see you guys later, and have fun with next week's story. Bye!